Hi everyone, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. Today is 15 facts about the Blackwood Ant, Formica fusca. I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome to the My Living World's Ants channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Fact number one, Formica fusca is known as the common wood ant. This species, Formica fusca, is known to live in woods and not to be mistaken for the carpenter ant, which are our Campanota species. These ants also have been named thatching ants which refers to the species of wood ant known as Formica obscuripes. Fact number two. This ant is a host for the fungi, Ophiocordyceps, Myrmecophilia. This species of ant, as well as others, can be found as a host for a particular fungi. This fungus can kill an entire colony. Most ant species will have a dedicated graveyard for dead bodies and waste, and some species will have specific workers to dump bodies away from the nest. When a worker becomes infected, sometimes, they will not be allowed back into the nest. To avoid the colony from dying out, lone workers which are infected with this fungi will tend to travel far away from the nest to save the rest of the colony. Fact number three, this species does not reach a large population. In the wild, this species will not grow too large, like some species which can multiply very quickly and explode in numbers. The average colony will consist between 500 to 2,000 workers. This is probably because of the worker's larger size compared to Lassius flavus or Lassius niger. Fact number four, Formica fusca get raided by other ants. The species of Formica fusca is known to get raided by the species Formica sanguina. This species of ant will steal brood from the nest and take them back to their own nest, where these workers will become slaves raised by the Formica sanguina colony. The workers will develop with pheromones of the new queen and colony and will therefore serve the colony as if it were their own. Fact number five, wood ants spray formic acid Formic acid is an irritating chemical present in sprayed venom of some ant species. These ants do have a bite which can be felt on human skin, but it's not very powerful and they lack a stinger. However, this species is able to spray formic acid at any threat it faces. Fact number six, wood ants feed off aphids for honeydew and scavenge for dead insects. This species is well known to forage high into trees. They will find aphids and extract honeydew from them, supplying a fresh source of sugar to give energy to the workers and the queen. They will also scavenge for dead insects and remains as protein to take back to the nest. Larger colonies might attempt to take live food. Fact number seven, Formica fusca can be found across the UK, Europe and parts of North America. This species can be found across the UK in wooded areas and sometimes fields. They are common throughout the Midlands and south of the UK, as well as being found in parts of Europe. This species is not as common as Lassius niger or Momica rubra due to its specific habitat requirements. Fact number eight, Formica fusca lives in woodlands and heaths. Wood ants can be found in rotten logs, under stones, and in fields. They tend to prefer wooded areas where they have more protection and coverage over their nests. Some Formica species will create large mounds of pine needles, which fall from the pine trees or similar plants. They prefer a slightly drier surface with a moist underlayer. Fact number nine, this species is sometimes mistaken for Lassius niger, the common black ant. Formica fusca is sometimes mistaken for other species, sometimes other ants like Formica lamani, but also Lassius niger. When looking at both species, the clear indicator is the size of the workers. They both appear black in size, but the worker of a Lassius niger colony will range from 2 to 5 mm, and the Formica fusca workers will range from 4 to 8 mm. They are much larger and have bigger eyes too. Fact number 10. Queens of this species have different fecundity levels. This means the queens in the colony have different levels of fertility and the queen that produces the most offspring will actually receive more attention from the workers than queens which produce very small amounts of brood. Fact number 11. They have their nuptial flights between July to August. In the summer months of July to August, this species will develop special brood consisting of males and female reproductive ants. The males which are drones and the princesses will be new queens. They will fly out of the nest and mate in the air. The males will die shortly after, and then the female will find a spot to dig in the ground. She'll break off her wings and start laying eggs to start her own colony. Fact number 12. This species is polygene, consisting of multiple queens. Formica fusca are known to be polygene and will raise a colony with more than one queen, having a range of some queens who are really productive, and some which hardly lay any eggs at all. This species is unique in choosing to have more than one queen, so that they prevent the risk of not producing enough brood. Another possible reason this species could have more than one queen is to better prepare for being raided by other ant species. Fact number 13. This is a fast moving and active species. These ants are very fast and constantly moving. 
If keeping this ant species in a test tube, you might find that feeding can be very difficult, and one or two workers might constantly guard the entrance, as this species is very fast moving. To prevent escapes when feeding them, you can place the test tube in a tub as an outworld. Fact number 14. This species is recommended for more experienced beginners. Although this species isn't hard to keep, I'd recommend keeping species like Lassius niger and Lassius flavus first, because this species can bite and spray formic acid, as well as being very fast. I would say a little experience is recommended first. Fact number 15. Formica fusca workers will forage alone. This species is unusual in its foraging methods. Instead of scouting and foraging on large trails, this species tends to forage alone, and each worker will individually go out of the nest to find food. Thank you for watching this 15 fact video. Be sure to comment below on your thoughts and subscribe if you haven't already. And now, a quick update. My Mesal Barbarous colony had a massive setback. Unfortunately, something killed off all the workers, and now all that remains is a queen and her media worker. Hopefully we can save this colony. My Lassius Niger Queen and Fidoli Queen in bottle setups now have their first workers. My Manakarubida Queen is still hiding, and I have not yet seen if her first worker has emerged. My Lassius Flavus colony, previously without a queen, now has five queens and they have moved into the old Waitong setup. They look very happy here and have lots of brood. There are a lot of videos planned for the future, so stay tuned for weekly uploads of my 15 fact series, as well as more upcoming how-to videos and updates of my colonies. If you have suggestions of species you want to see on the channel, or any ideas you want to see in my videos, comment below. Coming up next week, how to hibernate your queen ant and workers. Thank you for watching. I'd love to hear your ideas in the comments below. See you in next week's video.